Hey y'all, it's Jess. Um, if you can see my desk, just ignore it. It's a mess. Um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. A lot of you know my description of autism, like my go-to description is a neurological difference. Uh, it impacts us in five ways. Socially, emotionally, cognitively, behaviorally, and sensory. But to look back on a year of social distancing, I have learned a lot about myself. Uh, mainly that I am an introvert. Um, off the charts. I was never really a social person. Uh, I never really liked um, hanging out in groups of people. I struggled with social anxiety for a really long time. Uh, I didn't learn social skills until like college basically. Well from what I've learned I guess I just wanted to give you some tips on uh, that I used on becoming a little bit more socially confident and uh, struggling less. So I want to talk about social skills that you can use when you're with friends, um, not really in a work environment or like something like stuff that like, you know, school, I'm out of school, so I wouldn't have any helpful advice anyways. So um, this is more, yeah, this is more for, um, of course, people who are late diagnosed autistics, but also if you, if you've always known that you are autistic, but you still struggle with social skills and trying to figure out your like social bubble and uh, your boundaries and stuff, then hopefully I can have some helpful tips for you too. The first tip that helped me is, like as an autistic person, is to have a framework for the social event. So I'll identify the reason that I'm going to this social event. It might be like, the, the reason is to get to know this person uh, or uh, with a new person. It might be just to get together to talk um, with each other uh, just to catch up if I, it's a friend I haven't seen in a while or just interested in like telling us each other what's going on in our lives if it's to talk about a specific topic um, or also like if it's going to do something together so like your the purpose of getting together is to go with each other to see this movie because it'll be fun to go see this movie stuff like that um, if there's a goal to achieve then like that that helps me like say okay this is why we're here um, and it's gonna have uh, something that we can work towards in a finished event so like maybe a book club a bible study would be one there's uh, actual like list of like an order of things the way that we're going to do them um, or even just something like shopping or doing art together we're gonna end up with finished products um, so I'm not just like like the, another thing is uh, forming a plan of what you're gonna do so that I'm not is like spaced out and like what's what's happening, what's going on, what am I trying to accomplish here, you know? And so I need time to make decisions um, <laughs> because I can't just at last minute like just like hang out together, okay what are we gonna do and just choose stuff to do. You know, I like to have a plan of what we're gonna do so that I can visualize a schedule. Of, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna pick her up at this time and then we're gonna drive, which will take 10 minutes over to this place and we're gonna spend however long there and then drive like and that way, you can also make sure that you have everything that you need so that you're prepared. Um, if I need money and if suddenly like she just wants to go shopping and I didn't realize we were going shopping and I have no money or something, uh, I don't have, like, I'm not dressed right for like a last minute decision, so I always make a plan, in my head at least. Another tip that helped me was being mindful of how I was feeling when I'm with certain people, uh, certain amounts of people. The situations that I like specifically with a group of people would be something that we are like a group like what could be like working together on um, like Bible study something like that uh, when it's not supposed to be like we're gonna all talk to each other you know if there's some kind of goal in mind then I have a framework for okay I'm not gonna talk about this stuff with these people. We're gonna like have a specific topic, we're gonna have a specific environment that we're in, we're, we're gonna do something, you know. And finding out what works best for you and where your comfort zone is, really. Another tip is setting boundaries and sticking to them. Um, um, like one of my boundaries is that I don't go to parties, you know, um, <clears throat> unless it's people that I have been repeatedly hanging out with and there's probably not going to be new people in the party. I know myself better than they do and I know how I socially function in certain areas and so like sticking to what you know is good for you and all oh, the cat <laughs> he running away. Um, what was I saying? Basically just just don't stress about 
trying to like go to all these social engagements to stay connected or for whatever reason that people are giving you if you don't feel like going then just don't go if it's something that you have to do then make sure that you take a break after doing that to kind of like recuperate and just spend time some time by yourself if you need to i have like four friends that i spend time with like present day um i have a bible study group uh, and I have my church, and that's the extent of my social life. I am uh, social online, of course, I have lots of online friends, but in person this year I have <laughs> made one new friend. Uh, like, that's pretty good for being in a pandemic. Um, the, like, like, not everybody can say that they've made new friends in the pandemic, and it's having to stay at home and stuff, but uh, I, I don't pursue making new friendships because I know I wouldn't be able to give them the attention that they deserve from a friend because I, I have like my social life is as full as I want it to be. My last tip would be just if you're if you're okay with it then tell the people that you're with that you are autistic and that you might have problems with certain social situations if it's going to be overwhelming or too many people or it's going to make you anxious or you're just not going to want to and real friends will understand that. I have a friend, um, uh, she's actually like asked me like, oh, is that, is this too overwhelming to you or would you want to go to this? And I'd be like, I love you, thank you for asking. At this point in my life, I can afford to surround myself with only people who know me and understand me and don't pass judgment on me for the way that I socialize or how much I socialize. Uh, I feel very blessed. For the people in my life right now, especially around the holidays. Um, and as the first socially distanced Christmas is upon us, I am all for it. Um, but I still make a point to get together with my friends for coffee and catching up on things. I hope you all have a great week. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be back, but um, Merry Christmas!